It's a great day. My name is Shay Brown and my company is Peak Performance Institute. And what we do is we teach you an easier way to be successful in sales. I'm so excited to be bringing to you the word of the week. And the word of the week is will power. That's right. The word of the week is will power. And today is Saturday, July 5th, 2014. And just, just yesterday was a very special day in these United States of America. We just celebrated July 4th, which is a day that we actually achieved our independence. And how do we achieve our independence? Well, one factor, which was a key cornerstone, was the willpower that we had inside of us in order to fight the opposition and, and, and to get our freedom. And, and that's a very important day. Um, there was fireworks yesterday. A number of folks had cookouts. Some folks just gathered with family and friends and just celebrated independence or took a day off from the office. And so I thought about it and said, you know, the word of the week is going to be willpower. And, and what better time for us to take that word and implement it this week? Because think about it. July 1st, it just came about four days ago. And for some folks, it was no big deal. And for others, it was a huge big deal. Like if you're in sales or you're in business, like July 1st is the day. Why is that? Well, number one, it marks a brand new month, new opportunities, new clients. You get a clean slate, you wipe everything away and it's a brand new slate. That's important. For others, it's the second half of the second year. So think about it. First six months are gone. We're now going into the next six months. And how are we gonna make the next six months better than the last six months? So it's gonna take what? Willpower. Now when you go to Google and you type in the word willpower, you're gonna see the definition. It means determination. It means staying power. It means commitment. It means to restore. It means that you take everything inside of you to go after what you want and no matter what, you have the willpower to keep on going. You're not gonna let some setbacks from a relationship hold you back. You're not gonna let some, some setbacks or some challenges maybe in your finances stop you and hold you back. Um, you're not gonna let that customer that you thought was gonna be a customer that walked away, no, no, they're not gonna hold you back. You're gonna have the willpower, the stand power, the determination to know what one, your goals are, number two, how you're gonna get there, and number three, if someone else has done it, so can you. You see, the word of the week is willpower. Now, here's what I'd like for you to do. Ask yourself just three questions. Question number one was, what was your level of consistency over the last six months? And whatever it is, step it up and have the willpower to take it to another level. If you were just more consistent with your diet, just more consistent with your exercise, just more consistent going after new opportunities, just more consistent taking advantage of automation and technology in your business, what would it mean? For some of you, it would create a breakthrough. Number two, this is so important, so listen to this very, very closely. How has your level of effort been over the last six months? Now maybe some of you on a scale of one to 10, one meaning not that great, 10 meaning it's great, you've given it everything you got. And I understand that. So you gotta keep giving, use that willpower, keep going, keep going, keep going. Others of you, maybe it's been some highs and some lows. And others of you, it just hasn't been where you want to be. Well, it's a clean slate. Today is Saturday. On Monday, you can hit the ground running. You can be sprinting, ready to go to the next level. And that can be just your level of effort. And the last one I'm gonna give you, just the last area. First was consistency, second was level of effort. You can apply willpower to both of those. But third is I want you to have the willpower to take a few minutes and write down your top three outcomes for the month of July. Just your top three outcomes, whatever you wanna achieve in the month of July. Now I know you got some goals for the next six months, but let's just take a baby step and let's just get laser focused. Jot this down in your notes. You get what you focus on. So your goal is to remain focused on what's most important, what matters. So let's look at the three goals you have for this month and jot those three goals down. And then I want you to tell yourself, I have the willpower to achieve my goals. Matter of fact, just say that with me real slowly. I have the willpower to achieve my goals. And even if you don't achieve it, don't worry about it. There's goal setting, that's one skill set. And then there's goal achievement, that's another skill set. We're gonna focus on just setting our goals and having the willpower to go after it with our best effort by being consistent and by being focused. You see, the word of the week is willpower. Make it a great day, everyone. And we're gonna make good things happen. We connect again next time.